guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I've been gone for a while because I thought that I'd have more time to film videos, but I didn't because I had to go back to school and it was all very stressful because I was going to a new school and I was like, ah, I didn't learn all the new rules, so I'm sorry that there have been no videos lately, but I'm back and uh, somebody is here with me and he's a little upset because my mom and my sister just left. Want to say hello to a Logan? Oh, I think they're back. Um, but, um, yeah, uh, today I was going to do a sustainable collective, like, haul thingy, uh, just all second hand, I think. No, I bought one new thing, but it's from a very sustainable place. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so, Logan, don't run around. Um, he's having a little freak out because he can hear them outside, but, um, yeah. Okay, so first of all, I bought this, which is actually a blouse, and it has these really weird long things so you can tie it up, but I'm going to take those off because um, it's a little too big for me to wear it like that, and also, what what is this? Like, this is way too long, but I'm just going to show you the pattern because I love these little, ooh, my lighting is not great. Um... I'm just gonna see if I can readjust the lighting. Okay, I think this lighting is slightly better. Um, it's kind of a weird time of day to film. It's like four o'clock, so, and the sun has been going down so much faster now, and it's like this weird light. But I've got these really pretty, really pretty flowers, and I'm probably gonna cut these off and then sew up this hole that's in here. You know, you put the tie through, it's like a wrap, but. It, I don't like it that way. I want it to be like a like an open, like a cardigan blouse type thing. And then I got I got this by the way from uh, all three of these pieces of clothing from a secondhand. It's like a a swap clothing store in Rotterdam. Um, it's called Olasa, and they have like a restaurant. And then there's like a little conference room and then all the way upstairs you can swap clothes and you bring clothes and then you um, pay you like, you know, a little bit extra for the people who are working there. And it's really cool and, you know, it's a good way to get some new clothes but not actually new, you know. And I got this, this top and it's like really old H&M, um, but it's like this super nice material um and I was really looking for a plain black crop top it has this really pretty like twist which gives it a little extra and has a line down the middle and it looks super nice with the next item I'm going to show you these pair of pants also an old brand that I used to shop from but don't anymore and um I love mom jeans like I love them so much they look so good on people but they always just, they didn't fit me. Like, either I couldn't get them past my hips, and then if I could, then they were, like, super baggy on my waist, and it was, like, this really annoying thing. And if they fit on my waist, I wouldn't even be able to get them over my hips. But these, miraculously, they fit, and they're so nice. They're this gorgeous wash, and, you know, I really like them, how they're, like, kind of, in an 80s style, even though they're obviously not from the 80s because they're actually a fast fashion, but I bought them secondhand, so I don't care because it's secondhand, so everything's fine secondhand. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with these. I'm wearing them a lot, so yeah, definitely check out your thrift stores if you're thinking that you can't find any mom jeans. Just go, they have so many jeans everywhere. So all of those things were from the Oasa. Oh, I got something else at a thrift store in Rotterdam. And it's this mortar and pestle. And I'm just gonna like, it's really cute. And it has these, like here's the mortar. And here's the, I don't know which one is which actually, but they're super cute. And I don't actually know if you could use this on wet stuff cause it's wood, uh, but it has like this damaged, like, like it's like actually like a real piece of wood. And I thought it was so gorgeous. And when I was in France, there were all these people selling wooden bowls. But they were ridiculously expensive, you know. I understand that's like hard work and it is wood. So I understand that it's expensive, but I found this second hand and it was two euros. And I was like, yes, give that to me. So, 
Then I'm going to go on for stuff I got from France. And I got this picture frame. I actually got it for the picture frame, not necessarily for the picture, but I actually like it. I thought it was actually a painting or a drawing, but it's actually just like it says made in France here at the bottom. So this it's actually a print. But that's fine, I don't care. Uh, but because this frame is so nice, it has like this blue and I love how it matches the drawing in the middle, so I think I'm actually going to keep what's in here for now at least, unless I found something else to put in it. But yeah, I love that. Then, the uh, that was second hand from a market in France. Then, this is the only second uh, thing that I didn't get second hand. This is new. And it's, I'm just going to come a little closer to you guys. It's a little soap dish, but you can hang it up like anywhere and... It's made out of the coconut, and I don't know if you guys, actually I'm going to sit back down so you can see me when I'm talking to you, um, if you guys don't know, like, a lot of the coconut, well, most of the coconut gets thrown away, um, when they get, like, the coconut milk or stuff, and they're just burned, and it's really bad, so there's these companies that buy, um, the coconuts, like, the shells, and they make these beautiful things out of them, and it has little holes in the bottom so your soap can air, and I had one soap hole already, but I needed another one because I have two bars of soap. My shampoo bar and my normal soap. So, and now I have two. And I'm very excited. I haven't found a place to hang this yet. Um, because my ceiling is really damn high. If I hung it from there, I would not be able to reach it. So I'd have to put it somewhere else. But I'm going to find the perfect spot for it. Oh yeah, and if you guys don't know, from one of my previous videos, I bought a bowl that was also made out of a coconut shell and yeah it's also super cool um so you guys might recognize that and i really do like where's oh, okay just checking that logan isn't doing any chewing on my things then the last thing i got um is this um what is this called wicker wicker i think uh a wicker like platter and it's really like it's big you can see next to my head uh, and I got this also secondhand in a market from France, and it has these little handholds. It's not really strong, like you couldn't put like a teapot on there, like a heavy teapot, it would probably break. Um, but I thought it was nice to like display something, maybe like, um, I don't know, like a little plant, and maybe some books, and like a candle. just thought it would be a nice centerpiece, I don't know. Right now I have it on my bureau in my room, I mean my dress, dresser? Dresser. Um, on my dresser, but... Uh, I want to find, like, if I have my own place, eventually it would be so cute if it would be on the table, like, the dining room table, or maybe even the living room, and I could just put my books on there, and it just, it just looks nice. And that was only one euro, and it was, like, thrifting in France is so much fun, because they have these markets, and they're, like, two or three times a week in, like, different villages around wherever you are, and you can find so many cool things. Also a lot of junk, but, you know, your junk is maybe somebody else's, like, you know what they really want so uh yeah that was it i'm really excited today about getting all these really cool things and also sometimes i go to the thrift store and i don't find anything but that's okay too you just go again next time i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope that i'll be making more for you again because i really miss this and it makes me really happy and if you have any topics that you want me to talk about because i want to do some more chatty videos too um so yeah, let me know, and I'll see you all next time, and uh, bye guys!